This is our offset smoker. We're going to be doing four racks of ribs today. So I'm just getting the temperature up. I lit the coals here. And I'm going to dump these guys. Hopefully, they don't burn myself. Drop this in here. So, what you do to regulate the heat is you put your coals in there, keep those going. Um, you'll have this. this uh, this is Tim, and what he didn't know was that we were about to embark on one of the most important mysteries that our family had ever seen. And it all started with one question. So what's the importance of the chore chart? The importance of the chore chart is to have the division of labor. Division of labor will enable each person to partake in the family activity of maintaining the home, which is highly important for the good structure of a family. Each individual, as the, it teaches them responsibility, so as they're doing their part in maintaining the home in their respective area, it would uh, enable them to learn that responsibility, which will in turn uh, help out the family structure. So at least on four different occasions, we had the chore chart uh, signed and filled out and uh, posted on the refrigerator. And on those four occasions, each time, it was uh, taken down. This is actually pretty cool. You can set it to just vibrate. So who do you think is uh, guilty of uh, taking down the chore chart? Who took the chore chart? I mean, a chore chart is a fundamental part of uh, discipline in the family. So. <laughs> <laughs> who took it? Who I, took I, it? Honestly, it think, seems I, guilty. <laughs> I wasn't even Weird there. thing to see. I was not there. You you guys lived without me. I lived in New Jersey. I was going to college. Um, who do I think it would be? There's a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot of suspects. Uh, I would. I will tell you, mom had the weirdest response in terms of, like, we did a mini investigation between me and uh, Esther and Naomi. We called everyone, questioned them about the incident. Mom said she would never tell. That was the first thing that she said via text in response to what happened to the chore chart. So, just by that, I gotta say, she's leading the pack for me. Uh, I think I might have actually voted for her. So, uh, what do you think about the chore chart? Chore chart? Uh, I think Timmy took it down. That's all I got. That's it. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna have a trial and we're going to leave it up to the justice system to figure out. Uh, who Timmy is. says he does, didn't live with us back then. Well. He came home every once in a while, pretty sure. But I don't know, uh, Esther, uh, man, I, I don't know, it's hard to say, man. We're gonna lead up to the justice system, hopefully they're better than the uh, government of America's judicial system. So hopefully uh, they figured out Kyle Rittenhouse, so hopefully they'll figure out our tour chart. It's going. It's going great. Washing dishes. So what do you, if you, what do you think about the tour chart? Uh, no comment. <laughs>
That's it. I hope they can figure out who did it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Finger goes in the thing. That's it. Come on. And set your hand on the table. Where you start fitting? <laughs> After 24 years in my life, looking back, I would never think that. <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't push I would never think that this would be something that would make my sister and my brothers hate me so much. It wasn't me, but you know, they really think I love me. And that just hurts my feelings. And I know growing up you say, oh Esther, she's goody two shoe, she's the goody good, she does everything, blah, 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 she's a favorite. Yes, I was. Yes, I am a goody good. And you know what? It pains me <laughs> to, to think you genuinely think that I did this. I'm the one, per one person of the four siblings who ever did any chores ever. It's really not funny because my siblings hate me because of this, but I didn't do it, okay? <laughs> I just think I did. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Uh, the chore chart. Yeah, I'm not sure who took the tour cart. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, which uh, tour chart are you guys talking about? I don't remember there ever even being a tour chart. In fact, In fact, I think everybody's having a collective Mandela effect where there never was a George chart to begin with. The George chart. Uh, my first guess would be Dan, because so what happened was my dad didn't think we were doing enough chores. My mom was doing everything. But she was also working at the time, and my dad was working at the time, and we got off school at three, and then we get home till five. So in that two-hour span, we were supposed to each take a chore and do one. Sounds pretty fair, right? But uh, Dan always butted heads with dad, so my first guess would be him, just because he didn't want to do chores. Uh, my second guess would be Esther, because Esther was a goody two shoes and she she says she did all the chores herself okay so her plan was probably take the chore chart down blame it on me Naomi or Dan so that we get in trouble and start doing chores or whatever something stupid like that that my third guess would be dad in order to test us and see which one of us would take the fall for the other children in the family. Uh, if that's the case, it didn't work out. My fourth guess would be mom. And I only say that because when I called mom and asked her, she, oh, she just burst out laughing. <laughs> and that seems pretty guilty to me. And she just said, ah, don't worry about it, or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But I know I didn't take it. I know Naomi didn't take it. Naomi would have pulled me. Um. Oh, and one other thing I remember. Esther used to always love crumbling up paper and throwing them away. Ever since I can remember. It's hard to say when... It's something that has torn up the family for years, and... It's hard to believe that 
anyone in our family could be living with that kind of lie for so long and not care about anybody else in the family so much that they would let this lie continue to tear our family apart. Sometimes I like to think about where we could have been if this whole thing never have even have happened. Sounds like you're projecting your feelings. I don't have feelings. The George R took that from me. Hey, wake up, I have some questions for you. <laughs> Dan and asked him about it he was just like oh it was Timmy and I'm like dude Timmy didn't even live with us that's so stupid and he was like well I'm just going by what dad said and I'm like dude and then he's like I don't even care which is suspicious because every one of us cares because we don't know who did it so only the person who doesn't who doesn't care did it obviously because they know that they did it and they're guilty and so now he's gonna get mad because Everyone's gonna find out it was Dan all along. And so that's my theory on Dan. And then Esther, I only think Esther did it because because none of us cared about the chore chart anyway. Like it was just pointless because none of us did chores and we didn't care. <laughs> and Esther was the only one who cared enough to do the chores because she was a goody two shoes, obviously. And so, so it was Esther who took it down because she was like, ah, I'm doing the chores anyway. Why do we have this? As soon as she threw it away, I think. Maybe, maybe it was mom because when I called her and I was like, dude, do you know who took down the chore chart? First thing she asked me was, is dad around? And I'm like, no. And then she was like, okay. And then I was like, do you know who took down the chore chart? And then she was like, I'll never tell. And I'm like, what is that supposed to be? You know, like that's really weird. Either mom knows or she did it for some reason. I don't know what her motive would be behind that. Nina told me else her. Nina told me her. Nina told me else her. Nina told me else her. Nina told me else her. Nina told me it was her. Who do you think stole the church hire? Dan. Why do you think Dan? I don't think I know. It was Phil. You did it. I know you did it. <laughs> Is that it? Anything no. else you want to say? No. That's all I'll say. Probably Dan. Why do you think Dan? Because he still has everything. He does, doesn't he? He likes to get out of stuff. I'd say Dan. On behalf of the Gonzalez family, who most of you are members of, I would like to thank you for coming here today and gathering. And yes, you may wonder, isn't it Thanksgiving? Yes. It may be Thanksgiving for some, <laughs> but for us, today is more about giving thanks for what we used to have. Today is about gaining justice after 20 years, maybe even longer, of wondering who took down the chore chart. Today, we are about to find out, and I would like you to ask you all, please rise for our honorable judge, Tim Gonzalez, Jr. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you today. He has a whipping. We are here to talk. It's a spoon. Uh, this is my gavel. Uh, wait, wait. Hold on, We're here to talk about what happened to the Gonzalez family chore chart. The 
You might be asking why we're going through all this trouble. Well, uh, America was founded on the principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In order to achieve those principles, it starts with the family unit. And something that brings, something that brings discipline to the family and helps them uh, in their own pursuit of happiness is a chore chart. Something you might see on any family fridge uh, as you <laughs> go to eat your Thanksgiving dinners today. Um, so our family chore chart, um, typical in terms of the format and layout. We've got the days of the week, the people in the family, particularly the children, and uh, what they're going to be doing in the center. So uh, over here, we have some information about our suspects, which we'll uncover in a moment. Um, and down here is just who, these are uh, our jurors down here voting for who they think uh, was the culprit of stealing the chore chart. And we'll, we'll go over that in a minute, but I wanted to turn it over to uh, the head of the household, Tim Gonzalez. Well, while the children were growing up, I had it in my heart to be able to teach them some responsibility and also ha be able to capitalize on the numerous children which we had. So to, to understand the aspect of division of labor, I thought it'd be imperative that we understand the principle that many hands make light work. So to lighten the load of uh, Mrs. Gonzalez, uh, we had a, uh, a chore chart that enabled each person to be able to participate. So then, the, uh, for instance, the area of our laundry, we had a, a mountain of laundry that we called Mount Never Rest. And it was such <laughs> and it was such that it was imperative that everyone would be able to participate in this endeavor of family chores. So therefore the chore chart was was uh, was created to be able to uh, to develop that structure uh, within our household of being able to accomplish chores and document the, the uh, procedures, the practices, and even the uh, the accomplishments that each one would be able to participate in. Thank you very much. Uh, now we'll unveil our suspects here. So the first person is is uh, MIA World Traveler, whose quote regarding uh, this situation was, "I will get to the bottom of this." That's me. <laughs> it's not biased. The next person is uh, is known as a bit of an athlete. Uh, also, nickname Dan the Man. I guess not too much of a secret who it's going to be. And his quote was, I got deer to kill. <laughs> then we have a mischievous class clown who uh, statement was, I would have admitted it by now if it were me. And that's Phil. <laughs> Interesting the word choice here, but a kind bookworm. Uh, very complimentary to herself <laughs> uh, and who statement was why would it be me and was the impetus for conversation we're having here today Daddy. Uh, then we have a Daddy. Daddy was talking when you were talking. yeah okay we have to keep order in the court please everyone I will not <laughs> use your gavel take any more outbursts order 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 uh, then we have a sweet animal soft animal enthusiast who says it wasn't me um, then we have a marine creator of the chart who just laughed when asked. We're going to have a photo of him. You have a photo on his little guy right there. Um, oops. Hello, him. <laughs> um, okay. And then we have a homeschool teacher who, when asked what happened to the chart chart, said, I will never tell. <laughs> So we've taken the time here to, uh, uh, I could not have taken the floor chart because I actually didn't live with you guys at the time. <laughs> Do we know what year? 2008. Okay, 2008, I would have been in Galloway, New Jersey. It would have taken me a total of eight times, four times that it was stolen to be the person who stole it. What? And at the time I had a broken car, so. I feel like I'm digging myself in the hole here. You did it! This is how Maggie Murder happened. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, 
Oh yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> At this time, we would like to call Dan the man with dogs. <laughs> You gotta talk louder. It's a chore charge. Uh, yeah. Did you or did you not? I think I did. So I'm coming to the stand today to talk about whether I did or did not remove the chore chart from the fridge. And, um, and uh, what I can say is I may, I may have. <laughs> That may not have shit! <laughs> I don't think that's uh, hard to say. What do you mean it's hard to say? Well, What's that? Over 20 some years, and, you know, you're, I just wanted to kill you. That was it. That was my original statement. Uh, no, I, I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did. Might have been. Dan, you need to let this off your heart, buddy. Don't live with this. I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did. I, I don't know. I don't know who it was. That's what we're here to find out. But it might have been me. I don't know. Why do you say it might have been him? It just could have happened. Though. Do you have a habit of feeling things? I don't think so. <laughs> not, not usually. Okay. 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 Well, that's very interesting, very incomplete. This time, we would like to call the youngest member of the Gonzalez siblings, the one who is sweet and and appeared in a sense quite often. Naomi Gonzalez, so please take the stand. Isn't it true that you have to smile in your mind? Uh, yup. Exactly smiley today. I'm happy that all my family is here. Are you happy to finally know who really took down the chart? Yes. Because of the No. <laughs> Naomi Gonzalez. The youngest of the family. Yes. Is it true? Uh, do you that mind? Along the way. Yeah. Is it true along the way that while you were growing up? There were several occasions that you absolutely adored ice cream. Do you adore ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to the record to reflect that she does love ice cream. <laughs> In the midst of your love for ice cream. Objection! What is this ever doing? Relevance! No, 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 no. It's all bad to the witness. <laughs> we all love ice cream. <laughs> in your love for ice cream, in addition to loving ice cream, your family does have a history of not having portion control. Is that true? <laughs> and in that quest for the unlimited portion control, is it true that while your parents slept, your other siblings were influential in having you walk down the hallway to steal ice cream from the fridge. No. Okay, so. Yes Phil, or no? Yes. Answer the question. <laughs> but Phil, no. No. Stop. I was too noisy while getting the ice cream and I would clank the spoon. So Phil was like, no, me. Ha! 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 You do or do not admit that you were highly influenced. Ha! Hush! Hush, guys! Specifically, Phil. I rest my case. Oh. I tip Phil up, force you to take the chore chart and bribe you with or without. Hush! Let's say, I don't know, a Hush! or a dollar <laughs> or something like that. You, you I think one oh. time. I thank you for call, Bill or Dan. I don't remember which one it was. It was one of them. They told me to take it down once, and I did. But it was just once. I didn't do it. No! 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 Where's the judge? Where's the judge? Where's the judge? Shit! How'd you get the ribs? 
Yeah. What you say? <laughs> order, order, order. The judge is checking the ribs. <laughs> Get up. So, so. How are the ribs? You already did. It's interesting how all three siblings with each other, leaving me out as always, which is why I always felt like the different one. Which is why she oh. won the last one. Because no one else did the chores, and so Esther Sing the song. Or sing the song. 
What was that? Local liar? Liars go to <laughs> hell! What about Steelers? Do you believe in hell, Miss Gonzalez? Yes. You do? So we establish you believe in hell, we establish you're a liar, and we establish that you're gonna go there. <laughs> Are you willing to put everything on the line? For, for what? I didn't do For a it. white lie? So in your pain, in your sadness that you weren't part of the clique, you tore down the torch chart in order to blame the very people that you hate because they did not involve you. In taking down the chart? They did not involve you in not doing chores. They made you do every chore. That's a good question. Would you have taken down the chart if asked by one of them? Because no, I did you want to be in their clique so badly that you would do anything to get into it? No, I'd rather listen to my parents and do what they say. Interesting. So, would you say your father is a Christian? Yes. Would you say he's even a pastor? Yes. That's funny because I don't believe any parent, especially a Christian pastor Baptist father, <laughs> would tell their child to lie, which is something that just happened. Ten minutes ago on the stand when you said you did every single chore. Okay, do you want to listen to your do you want to listen to your parents? We've established she's a liar going to hell, so we just this We're all establishing anywhere. that she does not actually listen to her parents, which means she does there's no basis on whether to believe whether she does do all the chores or not. But or whether the parents she even she did the chores. Is that not Wrong. She did all the chores? How would they know? They weren't there. I don't remember anyone doing the chores. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. She doesn't count. <laughs> Alright. Is this going anywhere? I That's, That's a very it. interesting um, idea. I don't really want to call it that. Because it's kind of like a thing that you made for me. And now I would like to call you to the panel. Fill out Josh, you like and thought with. Would you? Can I get a glass of water? <laughs> no comfort in the Everybody Would you say you Uh, no. No. Not really. Would you say you never stolen anything? Yeah. <laughs> Would you say? I've stolen the hearts of millions everywhere. If you're not going to take this seriously, I'm going to teach you to That's a gumball machine, Your Honor. <laughs> now, I would like you to recall for the jurors. Or I name. plead the fifth. <laughs> you don't want to say I'll say it. I don't have to say younger, yes. When Philip was younger, his mother <laughs> brought him and his two oh sisters to a Christian bookstore. <laughs> and what was at this Christian bookstore while, mo while our mother was browsing, you may ask? That's a good question. There was a gumball machine. I can't believe you're bringing this up. <laughs> and what, Please get a glass of water. And what, <laughs> and what did Philip have in his pocket? Nothing. So, like a normal child would do to ask their mother for a quarter, no, he didn't do that. Instead, instead, Philip, what did you do? I was hungry. <laughs> would you, would you punish no. a child for stealing a piece of bread who is hungry? That's not what we're talking about. You asked if I was just established lying and stealing is punishable Wait. by hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> what did Philip Not before honestly? the age of accountability, which I believe I was under. <laughs> Okay, we're and not talking. Hungry. Okay, thank you, Philip. But we're not talking about stealing a piece of bread. We're talking about in a Christian bookstore, you climb to the top of the gumball machine, you unscrewed the lid at the top, you stuck your arm in, and as a result, oh scraped your arm and ran to the car. That's a good question. I was a latchkey kid. Ripping down the chore chart. That's where she was. What is this? Now, How is this relevant? That's a good question. Based upon that, <laughs> I told you. I, I am willing to say 
I've told you I've stolen things. Yes. Such so is the hearts of humans. Now, based upon that evidence, I would like to suggest that you conspired with your younger sibling, Naomi. You whispered in her little ear, go steal a torch heart, and I'll be your best friend. We'll eat ice cream together. <laughs> And she did. <laughs> okay. Or I would like to suggest. Wait, I have a response. That you walked by and took down the chore chart because. Hold on, hold a, on. The witness will answer the question. It wasn't a question. Oh. Why would I steal the chart when every chore was getting done without me having to do it? <laughs> so you admit I did every chore. You the chores you got done. Do chore. No, I'm saying the chores got done. So why would anyone take the chore chart? I didn't have a reason to. What would my reason for taking the chore chart? That's what I'm asking you. I was old enough to realize if that chore chart comes down, it's gonna go back up again, and I would get whipped. So what's the point? I would like to no, call Tim Gonzalez to the stand to question the witness. Okay, pretty close. Really question? Joshua Gonzalez. That is your name, right? <laughs> is it true that in your tenure as middle son, you had a habit of hiding things? Hiding things? Yes. <laughs> Could you be more specific? Take, for instance, <laughs> the multitude of times over a span of 18 years where, upon sitting with your family to dinner, you took your morsels in which everyone was punished until your plate was clean, and you would take them and set them in a lower ledge underneath the dining room table. As you, <laughs> as you suggested, everybody was punished if I did not eat my food. I was not hungry. I did not want everybody to get punished because I care about my siblings. I love my siblings. So in order to save them, I did hide some food under the table, but you can see I kind of grew up. So, <laughs> so you admit that you, decept, you deceived your parents and it was only upon, after 18 years of sitting at the table, and we moved back to New Jersey, that we found the evidence of petrified meat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I put it in the trash, uh, usually after. Otherwise, there would have been a lot more <laughs> So, what you're established, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what we have established is... Uh, a a uh, a perpetual problem with lying and deception from this young lad. You know, whoever uh, hasn't lied, you know, and because, be the first one to accuse me. And or be, the first. Two. And because of that, ladies and gentlemen of the jury and Mr. Absent Judge, because of this uh, this perpetual lying. We have established that when he denied taking the chore chart, the probability of that being just another of the long list of lines, it would be another act of deception. So, on behalf of Philip and enabling him to once and for all come clean, I ask him this most direct question. So, Joshua Gonzalez, did you or did you not? Daddy, how much more minutes? Steal the chart or entice your baby sister who was highly influenced by your guidance to steal that chart. You did not steal the chart, hide the chart, or influence any other person to steal the chart on my behalf. <laughs> um, so, is it true? That when I was younger, you would tell me to do things and I would do them. Some things, for example, instant, stealing ice cream. Getting the ice cream. Okay. Do you remember? Because I distinctly recall this. We were in Wawa one time, 
and there was candy like oh on the, around the counter. And you told me, Naomi, that candy is free. You can <laughs> take it. Jesus Christ. And me, me, highly susceptible and influenced by you, my older, cooler brother, I listened and I took some candy. I do not recall. <laughs> I recall. No, I remind people anything you say here. Yeah, I do not recall. Daddy, I thought you were supposed to spend something. But I can tell you, I can tell you the the tradition, if you will, of uh, getting your younger siblings to steal things such as ice cream uh, has been has been a long standing tradition. Which I'm sure the judge can tell you. I saw an ice cream on his behalf many a time. And my compensation was only one scoop. It was not fair. It was not fair. Could you tell me how many scoops of ice cream you get? All that. I don't recall. It was more than one. Nancy Gonzalez. <laughs> the truth shall become the become known. Guilty of a thing to say. Do you swear on the night before Christmas? The closest thing that we have to a Bible I may remind you that is based on some kind of Christian stuff. I promise to tell the truth. You have to put your hand on it. The night before Christmas. I'm not afraid of the truth. Is that a Christian I don't recall. I mean, it, it was a long time ago. So, because you saw that the tour chart didn't work out the first time, did you encourage him to make a second tour chart? Well, I didn't encourage him. From, from my from my remembrance, he would make the tour charts and put them up. I mean, all he had to do was click print. <laughs> did you think that this was funny? Because you seem like you think that it is funny. <laughs> No, it's not. Did you enjoy seeing your husband so upset after time and time again on the torture being taken down? No. Perhaps the torture chart was blocking your kitty cat calendar. What? what? I don't know what you're talking about. Kitty cat calendar? About if I know who did it. I question you if you did it. No, I did not do it. Nancy. <laughs> 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 one at a time. Do you remember when your sibling oh, called the children? <laughs> <laughs> called you on the phone and asked you, Mom, did you take down the chore chart? What was your answer? I said, I'll never tell. And why? Oh, I said, no, I didn't take it down, and I'll never tell you. Because I know who did it. Was it? You're no. You look awfully guilty. 
I did not take down the church chart, and I know who did it, but nobody wants to listen. <laughs> matter of knowing who took down the church heart. And I know. <laughs> okay. It could not have been Timothy because he was not living with us. Thank you. We already know that. Okay. I know Daniel. The church chart was missing four times. Four times. Daniel took it down because all he wanted to do was go hunting. Philip took it down because he wanted to memorize the chore chart because he was really good at memorizing when he was younger. Esther it's took down the chore chart. I have a word for that. <laughs> Esther took down the chore chart because she was so mad at doing all the chores. I'm like, I don't want these chores anymore. I'm taking down the chore chart. And poor little Naomi, <laughs> she took down the chore chart because she was forced to by her siblings. No, I didn't take it children. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. What you have heard here today, who do you think is guilty? I think it was Dan. <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> Go ahead, Judge. What? Question <laughs> her. Um, objection, no. conflict of interest. They're married. Jesus Christ, we're <laughs> literally all related. <laughs> so, Doctor, who do you think is guilty out of what you have heard here today? Bill. And why, may I ask? Well, Bill and Naomi, they work together as a unit. And if Naomi did something once, it's most likely under the direction of her older, older brother, not Dan, Bill. <laughs> oh, um, if she did it once, and maybe she said, I won't do this again, I'm scared. So then Phil took over and did the rest of the times. That's what I think happened. I think you have solved it. And what is your impression of Esther? Do you think she <laughs> And Naomi are all leaving right now, so if you vote for one of them, they win. They win as in they lose. Hellfire! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Katie, you vote? what about TJ? Do you want to vote? No! Okay, that uh, concludes the trial of the century. So did we solve it? Well, you did it, but Dan was found guilty. Well, you did it, but Dan was found guilty. That's justice for you. <laughs> <laughs>